Welcome back to Rainforest Radio. I'm your host, Cy Thomas. And my guest is uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio, Philip Jackson. Good evening, Cy. Good evening. You're, uh, you're a quite popular call. You're lighting up the phones. Uh, your opinions are quite interesting, to say the least. Well, you know, it's an important topic that, uh, you know, I, it's just not talked about enough in, in, in the world. And particularly up here in Cleveland, uh, there are so many problems, you know. Uh, this is the only blue part of a red state. You do realize that. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, all of Ohio is pretty much red, with the exception of those, uh, the people down in Athens, Ohio, and, and the, the Cleveland area. Uh, the rest of, the st- of Ohio is staunchly red. Hmm. Now, red does not necessarily have to symbolize uh, the devil. Lots of people sometimes say red, well, red is the devil's color, but, you know, it's also a Christmas color. Well, I do got to say, you know, when when I was driving into, uh, towards, to the station this evening, I noticed that you've got, you've, you have like this big tower here, um, which is all lit up in red and green. Okay. And quite honestly, it looks kind of evil. Really? The terminal yeah. tower? Th- it's a terminal tower. That's what they call it? Yes. Terminal like death? Terminal as in it was a railroad terminal at one time. All right. Well, you know, it looks it looks like more like a homage to 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 the devil than it does like Christmas lighting, if you ask me. Oh my! It looks downright evil and sinister with those green windows up at the top, staring out at you, looking like evil eyes. Well, that's your opinion. I think it's quite beautiful myself. Well, I think that the lighting job on that, whoever did that, was working working behind the scenes to, to create something more evil instead of, instead of uh, you know, just doing a, a Christmas lighting. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say about that, <laughs> Philip. That is, uh, well, you know, that's, that's a little bit off the wall even for me, and I'm quite a conservative. Well, you know what? The devil comes in many forms. Some oh, some some would say sometimes the devil comes in bad lighting. Oh my! I know a few people in uh, theater that would tend to disagree with you on that. But hey, let's go to the phone lines. CSB, you're on the air. Uh, yes, is this eighty nine three? Yes, it is, sir. Uh, I would just like to thank you guys for the great show that you're putting on. Well, thank you, sir, for calling. We, we enjoy your support. Do you enjoy my support? We, we, we are thankful to have it. Well, um, well, that, you know, well, that's great, because you know what? There's really not enough people in the world today putting out the message about the evilness of the Terminal Tower. I can't really tell you how many times I have gazed up at that sinister-looking monument to Satan and just, I mean... It does. Sure, it does take your your words away from you. You look up at that edifice to to the devil, and and you can't you can't speak. Uh, oh no! I mean, I mean, it just makes me want to throw down and um, open up the good book. You know. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? Maybe, maybe, just maybe that night when we're going down to the public square, and, and for those of you just tuning in. On Christmas Eve, we will be having a satanic uh, book burning. We um, will. We will do this. And this is going to be on uh, the the Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, we're going to be going down there eight o'clock. Bring bring all of your uh, demonic things that you want to burn. And well, we'll, brother, we'll, I do not own any demonic things. I am not a demonic person. Maybe you have demonic things, my brother. Well, you know what? We're what you need to do is go to your you local need to own church. Demonic things to be able to burn demonic what, things. What you, sir, what you need to do is go down to your local church and set up a drop box. A drop box. If you if you don't if you don't have a if you don't personally own anything and that I bless your soul for not, um, but praise but, Jesus, praise Jesus. But there are plenty of people out there that do. So what what I got to say is you know what you got to give them their chance to get rid of and exercise their personal demons. We yes we need to exercise the demons. Okay okay now listen. Okay I've got a little plan about the terminal tower. Yes. Okay now it's a. Testament to evil, am I, am, am I not correct? Well, I don't know about the terminal tower itself, but, but its lighting in particular right, certainly right, right. is. It, I, I can't, I can't right, say right, that the right, whole right, structure is right. necessarily evil. See now the red lights, right? Yes. They just signify the devil. And as long as we have this evil in our proud city of Cleveland, my brother, we cannot, we cannot do the Lord's work with this structure hanging down upon us so we what we need to do is petition the wait we need to take it beyond that 
we need to drop this terminal of evil, not the terminal tower, the terminal of Satan. This is Satan's subway, my brother. Well, well, what do you propose that we do about it? Well, you know, I, first of all, perhaps we ought to take the name terminal out of there. That's right. It's not, it sounds it's, like somebody's it's dying. Satan's power. Um, second of second of all, perhaps at the top of it, I noticed that yeah, I've I've heard that on on certain days when sports teams are playing here, um, they might fly the flag of say um, like the the Cleveland Indians or oh my or whatever. No. But Jesus, please, what, please, what, what please. I what, what I think would be very nice is if at the, the very top of the terminal tower, if, if we replace the traditional spire that they have up there with perhaps a cross, that would be much, much nicer. You know what, brother? I think that would be a lovely idea. You know what? If we had more symbols of Jesus in our schools and government places, maybe this country wouldn't be so in the gutter as it is. Okay, well, we want to thank you for that call, caller. We, the lines are pretty much jammed, and Charlie is hearing me up on this. CSB, you're on the air. Um, yes, I pimp hoes. Now, um, this in you, the... You, wait, wait, wait. You do, you do what, sir? I, I pimp hoes. You pimp hoes? Yes. Sandy hoes, or...? Uh, I, I, the, the kind of that will give you, uh, certain favors for a certain... Oh, seat. whores. Okay. All right. Yes. You know what? Um, that's that's just wrong. Man, I, 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 it's wrong, sir. You can't yeah. defend it. Thank you, Charlie. We don't go to another caller. CSB, you're on the air. God likes to watch. Uh, we'll take another call. CSB, you're on the air. Oh yeah, yeah. I just like to send a quick shout out to Jesus and say, Athens High football rules. Okay. Yeah, okay. And uh, one more thing. Go ahead. All right. Now, uh, I just, my mama just got done making some of that devil's food cake, down home, southern style, deep fried, and you know... Oh, you know, it's delicious! That's right, it's delicious, and you know what, I ain't going to hell because I eat no devil food cake, y'all some crazy crackers, you redneck now, honkies, you! Now, now, it's sir... So my fucking devil cake. Hey! Well, thank you for... I'm sorry, that's not really funny. No, no, uh, those are... Those are some miscreant youths out there. You know, they, they're they are thinking that, um, you know, they could get my goat up here. and uh, I think the caller was pulling our leg. Yeah, quite quite possibly, but you know what? It's it's not my leg it, come the end times, which are coming indeed. Yes. You know what? We'll get into that a little later in the show. You know, it's not my leg I'm worried about. It's 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 his soul. And that's that's the, that's a critical thing. We're right time there. for one more caller, isn't it? Okay, go ahead. Um, I am of the Jewish denomination and believe that the Messiah has yet to come. Um, what are your thoughts on those who uh, who 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 believe that Satan is the figment of some crazy people's imagination? Well, I believe that uh, Satan is is uh, truly a, a piece. It, my, my thoughts are this. <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether or not you believe that uh, uh, Satan is real or not, you personally, you know. What matters is that there are tons of people out there that do believe it. And the fact that there are people out there who join things like the Church of Satan or they or they feel that, you know what, I want to I want to I want to disembowel cattle or I want to kill a cat. That's very wrong. You know, it is It is wrong. But And there are people out there who really feel that Satan is alive and well. And it doesn't necessarily matter whether or not you live? believe I it. I want to send him a letter. But what's that? Where does Satan live? I want to send him a letter. Sa- Satan lives inside the hearts of man, sir. And he also, I, you know, we can't we can't get into his nether region, so such as his realm, I, 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 it, without I have no without committing to be in his nether region, without committing grave sin, you know. And sir, I hope that you I hope you never do, sin. because um, you know you don't want to be down there. The devil's poker, I tell you, it burns eternal within within your um, within your backside. He has the clap or gonorrhea or something. I I have an aunt who could check that out. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Charlie says one more call, then go on break. CSB, you're on the air. Let's try another call, Charlie. WCSB, you're on the air. Hi. 
I would like to uh, speak to your guest. Okay, go ahead. Concerning, um, earlier you slipped up. You said that an earlier caller was trying to get your goat. Is not the goat itself a symbol of the devil? You see, if you were truly a man of your word and a man of the Lord, you would take your devil and you would burn it. You would burn your devil for Satan! Ah! Ah! what you're doing with that goat in the privacy of your own home, mister. I think you may be doing things that are impure and filthy to that animal. Matt? By what means do you obtain an animal such as that? Uh, d- no, no, sorry, I'm not even going to answer that. Yeah. That, was so, that was so crazy out there and whacked out there. I, I don't think that uh, that merits any sort of comment, really. 